I have discussed these challenges with the Players Association Executive Director DeMora Smith. He shares my view that domestic violence and sexual assault have no place in the NFL. He and I will meet next week to bring together experts to help us establish and live up to the standards that our fans deserve and that we set for ourselves. I will be asking these experts to examine all current NFL policies related to employee and player conduct and discipline. They will address how to balance due process rights for those accused with the need to hold our personnel to the highest standards. They should also consider the current system for determining violations, including my role in the process. There will be changes to our personal conduct policy. I know this because we will make it happen. Nothing is off the table. Let me say it again. We will implement new conduct policies. They will have a set of clear and transparent rules for league and club personnel, owners and players. My goal is to complete this by the Super Bowl. Football and the NFL have always changed and improved. We drive changes in the game through our competition committee. It reviews and updates the rules that govern the game on the field. Through this process of evaluation and reform, we keep the game competitive, entertaining, fair, and most importantly, do everything we can to protect our players on the field from injury.